All right, guys, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man, because I do this for you guys. All right, so we're going to start with controllers, right? How do you make a controller? Very simple. You basically run this, this command on your terminal, right? So clear, right? All right, so you run this command, ace make controller, and then what you do is, you say, hey, we're going to do a pages controller. No, matter of fact, just run pages, right? And then you click enter. What that does, it creates the file for you. You click HTTP request. That's what you want. You click enter, and then that created that file for you. So that file is right here, right? Now, we're going to make a change to the routes. We're gonna come here and we're going to do this. We're gonna delete this and we're going to go like this. We're gonna say pages controller dot index. Right? Because what we want to do instead of us telling it from here, render the about page, we're gonna do all of this inside of the controller, right? So we're going to switch this to get. Instead of on, we're going to switch this to get. So it could be a get request for all of them, right? Now we're going to save that file. All right. Right now, let's see what happens at the moment. Right now, it's giving me an error saying, okay, undefined method. So what that means is we have to create a method right here, right? So to create a method, we basically use a... ES6 generator, a function generator, right? So, what we do is this, right? What this is saying, this is a generator function, right? And then what it's saying, okay, this is the name of the method, which is the index. And then here we have a request and we have a response. So when we land on the page, it's going to run the pages controller and it's going to run the index method. So what that does is saying, okay, I have this request give me something so what you do is you give it to them here right so you give it to them here inside of the function you see this this brackets that's how you know you're inside of a function and then you're basically saying hey the response is going to be I'm going to send you this view right now let's see what happens see now it's giving them the, the view, the welcome page view, right? But another thing that I want to do is I want to be able to send it, send to the view basically the title and two post titles, two bullshit post titles, right? So we're going to do that by doing this. We're going to come here. You basically, that's just an object, right? The other parameter here of this function is just uh, another object, right? So we're going to come here and say blog title, all right? And we're going to say like this, blog, and then comma. We're going to put in an array. Post. So then we're going to come here. We're going to say, OK, post one. two all right all right now that we got those uh, basically those variables that those variables are now gonna be able to be seen in the view you know and the only way to do that is through the template so we're gonna go back to the welcome page right and we're gonna say okay we we named this what we named this block title right so we're gonna put this inside the block content we're gonna say okay uh, curly braces, uh, blog title, what that does is, yeah, Joe's blog, right? So now, let's see what else, what can we do, was a blog post, so, oops, blog post, we're gonna do that, two, all right. 
So the reason why it says two is because there's two two titles in here, right? So what I'm doing right now is basically running JavaScript in the HTML, pretty much in the template. So before the page loads, this runs in the server and basically says, okay, get the title from the controller and get the blog post. So the blog post is this one, you know. Without it, this is what's going to show. It's going to show both of them, post one, post two, right? But what I want is the length. So how many are inside of that array? So it's going to give me two total amount of posts. So remember, that's how controllers work. It's that simple, right? You land on the page. The controller basically, you know, it gets to the route, and the route is, you know, the home page. Now you're saying, okay, pages controller, run the, you know, the index method, right? So you have this index method. This don't pay attention. This is something that I'm gonna create next. Uh, you, it's just showing you that you could actually create multiple different, um, you know, different methods for this, right? So I could come in here and change this to contact, whatever I want, right? So remember, it comes to the pages controller, runs the index method. And says okay here's a request show me something so what you're saying okay once this happens right here it comes to uh, it starts running the, the function right so it comes running through the function and then you basically you send the response your response is going to be hey send the view welcome and inside that view I want you to pass it this variables right so you have the block title and the block post so pretty much that's it. And then from there, you come to your view, and then here it basically shows you what you have. You know your blog title and your blog post, and then that's how you get, you know, basically variables passed down through the controllers, right? So it's that simple. All right, guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video, man. Bow, it's your boy Joe, and make sure to check out the other videos that I have, man. Trust me, take a little minute, just go over them, man. Or make sure you stay right here so you can continue this class. You know, stay on the playlist. All right, guys? Bow.